fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Welcome to English for Arabs. Enter change to fourth edition, unit 12, part 2. We're going to start with the vocab book, the words and their meaning in English. The students must try to keep the words in English, not in Arabic. All the students have to keep the words in English, not in Arabic. This is very important. Also, we try to put the word in a sentence. The explanation will be in English. This level is pre-intermediate. This level number 9. 7. In ages, for a long time, lately, recently, how come, how come, why, how come, not how, no, how come, why, pursue, pursue, follow, I'm almost of no money, I am broke, broke, I don't have money. I am almost, almost ill silent. I'm almost of no money. I'm broke. Eight. Eight. These are the words of exercise number eight. On a diet, eating less food to become thinner. On a diet, eating less food to become thinner. Model. Model to wear fashionable clothes to advertise them. Model. An American O A sound ma, ma, model. Ten. Workout. To exercise. To exercise. Twelve. These are the words of exercise number twelve. Disabled. Unable to walk or move easily. Walk. American. British. Walk. Homemade. Made at home. And not bought from a shop. This word also it means when something is homemade, it means it's not made in a factory. Maybe in a small workshop. Homemade made at home and not bought from a shop to recycle to recycle trike to recycle trike a cycle with two wheels at the back and one at the front to recycle to recycle to recycle trike a cycle with two wheels at the back and one at the front Found, begin, build. Found, begin, build. Musical instrument, an object to produce musical sounds. Musical instrument, an object to produce musical sounds. Object, British American object. Lyric, lyric, the words, the words of a song. Lyric. The words of a song. Handicaps. Things that make it hard to do what? What do you want? Handicaps. Things that make it hard to do what you want. Rehearse. Rehearse. Each silent. To practice before performing in front of audience. Rehearse. Rehearse. 
to practice before performing in front of audience of 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 by chance unexpectedly coincidentally by chance unexpectedly coincidentally documentary documentary a film that gives facts documentary a film that gives facts release to show in public to show when what sound between o and the vowel i release to show in public the opening night the z because they have vowel the first letter o o vowel vowels a e i o u the opening the opening night the opening night the first night that the film is shown raise increase left awareness awareness knowledge case silent awareness knowledge understanding of a situation situation t sub d awareness knowledge understanding of a situation worldwide happening in all parts of the world world american british world world worldwide happening in all parts of the world raise awareness make people think raise awareness make people think people american british people raise awareness make people think exercise 7 conversation what have you been doing what have you been been doing been british american been what have you been doing doing also american say doing what have you been doing what have you been doing listen and practice listen and repeat look at the picture here what do you see a young man a young lady there are a lot of people other young men and young ladies what are they doing they are drinking and eating so where are they they are at a party they are having a party listen and practice listen and repeat page 81 exercise 7 conversation What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last 6 months. How come? I'm saving up money for a trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated. But I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. Pete. Hey Gina. I haven't seen you in ages. I haven't seen you in ages. In ages for a long time. I haven't seen you for a long time. What have you been doing lately? lately recently nothing exciting exciting interesting i've been working two jobs for the last 6 months last british lost how come how come why why have you been working two jobs because i am saving up money i'm saving up money for a trip to morocco i'm saving up money for a trip to morocco i'm saving up money i'm saving up money for a trip to morocco morocco country save money to save money opposite spend save 
not to spend money, to keep the money. Well, that's exciting, that's interesting. Yeah, it is, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? What about you, Pete? What about Pete? Well, I've only been spending money. I am pursuing a full-time modeling career. I am following. I am trying to get a job as a full-time model. Model? What mean a model? A model, a person who shows other customers the clothes to buy them. A person who shows clothes for people to buy them. Really? How long have you been modeling? How long? Since I graduated, grad, j, j, graduated, since I graduated, but I, T, Safdi, but I, but I haven't been getting any work lately. I need a job soon. I am almost out of money. I am almost out of money. I am broke. I don't have any money. So since I graduated, since I finished school, since I finished school, since I finished high school, I have been trying to be a model, but I didn't get any job. But I haven't been getting any job, any work. Answer these questions about Pete and Gina. Do Pete and Gina meet each other? No. No, they don't. Pete? Pete hasn't seen Gina in ages. Pete hasn't seen Gina for a long time. What has Gina been doing lately? Gina has been working two jobs for the last six months. Why? Why? Because she's saving up money. She's saving up money for a trip to Morocco. She's saving up money for a trip for a trip to Morocco. A trip, a journey, to travel to Morocco. Morocco is a country. What has Pete been doing lately? Pete has only been spending money. He's pursuing a full-time modeling career. How long has Pete been modeling? Since he graduated. Has Pete been getting any work? No, he hasn't. Why does Pete need a job? Because he's almost out of money. He doesn't have any money. B. Page 81, Exercise 7, Part B. Listen to two other people at the party. What has happened since they last saw each other? Hey, Bob, how's it going? Pretty good, thanks. I haven't seen you for a while. What have you been up to? Well, I've been looking for a house to buy. I finally found one last month. That's terrific. Yeah. I'm really tired of renting. So, what have you been doing lately? Well, I went to Italy last month. Really? What were you doing there? I was taking a short Italian course. But guess what? I fell in love. You did? Who's the lucky guy? Actually, I fell in love with the food there. So I've been taking some classes in Italian cooking. That pizza you're eating, I made it. What about the man? What has happened since they last saw each other? Man and woman. The man. The man has been looking for a house to buy. Why? Because he has been tired of renting. And finally found one last month. What about the woman? The woman, 
got a vacation in Italy. The woman traveled to Italy. Why? Because she's fallen in love. She's fallen in love in Italian cooking. She, she liked to study Italian cooking courses. Italian food courses. Page 81, exercise 8, grammar focus. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving money. I've been spending it. Exercise number eight. Grammar focus. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect has have plus pp. Actions that happened in the past and still had an effect. But now this is present perfect continuous. We use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I have been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving money. I've been spending it. So here I say, I've been working. I've been modeling. I haven't been saving. So this is the present perfect continuous. We use it to express actions that start in the past and continue into present. The form have, have, I have, he, she, it, has, I have, we have, you have, they have, been, working, modeling, saving, verb plus ing, has, he has, she has, it has been, verb plus ing, for, subject, has, have, been, verb plus ing. Negative, subject, has, have, not, been, verb plus ing, I haven't, he hasn't, been, plus verb with ing. Yes, no question. Have you been saving money? Have you? Have we? Have they? Been, verb plus ing. Has, has he, has she, has it been? Verb plus ing. Answers, yes and no. WH questions. What? Where? When? Why? How? Has or have? Has, have, subject, been, verb plus ing. What have you been doing lately? How long have you been modeling? And now, let's get this PowerPoint presentation. The present perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous means the present perfect progressive. Continuous, progressive. Progressive. Both are correct. The present perfect continuous tense or the present perfect progressive. The present perfect continuous usage. Use. Why do we use it? The present perfect continuous is very similar in the meaning to the present perfect tense. Do you remember the present perfect tense? The present perfect has have plus pp. 
It expresses actions that happened in the past, but it still has an effect until now. But this is the present perfect continuous. It's about something that started, that happened in the past. It started in the past, it happened in the past, and continues in the present. Something that started in the past and continues in the present. So this is the past, and here we have the present. The present perfect in the present perfect between the past and the present. The present perfect continuous is also action that happened in the past, started in the past, and continued until the present. The present perfect continuous action that happened in the past, action that started in the past and continues in the present. Example, I've been working two jobs for the last six months. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. So here I started working in the past six months ago. And I'm still working until now. So I've been working two jobs for the last six months means I started working six months ago and I am continuing in my work. Ahmed has been studying a lot for the exam. Ahmed has been studying a lot for the exam. Because of the exam, Ahmed has been studying a lot. That means he started studying. Five or six, six hours ago. And he's continuing. He's continuing his studying. So he has been studying a lot for the exam. Look at the picture. In the picture, someone and it's raining. So if I said, it has been, it has been raining for two hours. So it has been raining for two hours. That means what? It started, it started to rain two hours ago. It started to rain two hours ago. But the raining it's still raining until now so it means it has been, it has been raining for two hours it began raining two hours ago and it's still raining now raining it has been raining for two hours means equals it began raining two hours ago it is still raining now. Okay. She's been sleeping for a long time. In the picture, he or he has been sleeping for a long time. It means he, be he began or she began sleeping. eight hours ago and he or she is still sleeping she's been sleeping for a long time in the picture I can say has been has been sleeping for a long time they've been talking since since the class ended they've been talking since class ended they have have short They've, they've been, they've, they've been talking since class ended. So they finished the class two o'clock in the afternoon. Then they went to the cafe. Now it's four o'clock. So they've been talking since the class ended. From two o'clock to four o'clock. They're still talking now. So, they've been talking since class ended. 
So they are talking now. They are still talking now. From 2 o'clock until 4 o'clock and they're still talking. Form. How can I form the present perfect? Let's go back to the slide. Look here. Has been raining. She's has been sleeping. Have. Have been talking. Been British. In American we say been. British. Been. So here. Has. Have. Been. Raining. Sleeping. Talking. Talking or talking. So American they make the G sign say talking. So here, sleeping. So I can say that has, have, been, verb plus ing. Verb plus ing, raining, sleeping, talking. So the form, form. Present perfect continuous has, have, been plus present participle. Present participle, verb plus ing. Has, have, been, verb plus ing. It expresses action started in the past, something happened in the past, and continues into present. So this is the past, and here the present, and the action is continuing into present. Time expressions, key words, since, for, all the year, this week. Time expressions, key words, since, for, all the year, this week. Negative, negative to say no. John hasn't been living in LA. LA Los Angeles John hasn't been living in LA for very long for a very long time has not hasn't hasn't been living John hasn't been living in LA for very long we have not we have not haven't we have not been we have not been exercising very much. We have not been exercising very much recently. Recently. We haven't. We haven't been exercising very much recently. This is exercising. To do aerobics. To do exercises. So, negative. Has not. Have not. Negative four, he, she, it, has, not, been, verb, plus ing, we, you, they, I, have, not, been, verb, plus ing. So here we put, we put not, has, have, plus not. Okay. Again, the negative, the negative four. Subject has, have, not, been, ing, verb, with ing, verb plus ing. Yes, no questions. To ask a question and in the answer we have yes or no. Example A and B A dialogue, a conversation Between A and B A Have you been working part-time this year? Have you been working part-time this year? Have you? Have you been? Have you been working part-time this year? Yes, I have I've been making drinks 
at a coffee shop for the past few months. Have you been working part time this year? Yes, I have. I've been making drinks at a coffee shop for the past few months. Few months. So here, this is a coffee shop, and there is someone, a person, who has been making coffee shop, who has, who has been making drinks for the coffee shop at the coffee shop for few months, for different months. So we ask, have you been working part time this year? Part time, it means not full time. You work every day in a coffee shop for three hours, two hours, four hours, but not a shift, not full time, eight hours. Have you been working part time this year? Yes, I have. I've been making drinks at a coffee shop for the past few months. Has he? Has he been saving money? No, he hasn't. He has been spending money. So he has been spending. Spend money, okay, but not saving money. Save, opposite, spend. Has he been spending money? No, he hasn't. He has been spending money. Has he been saving money? No, he hasn't. He has been spending money. Yes, no questions. Yes, no questions. With have, A and B, and C, A. Have you, have we, have they, been, verb, plus ing. Have you been spending money? Have you been working part-time job? Have you been, verb, plus ing. Have you, have we, have they? Yes. Yes, I. You, for one. Have you? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Short answer. Yes, I have. Yes, we have. Yes, they have. Yes, you have. So here is the answer. Yes. No. Have you? Have we? Have they? Been? Verb plus ang? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. No, we haven't. No, they haven't. Example, have you been watching television? Yes, I have. I've been watching television for five hours. Have you been doing aerobics? No, I haven't. Has. Has he? Has she? Has it? Ben? Verb plus ing. Answer. Yes. He, she, it has. No. He, she, it hasn't. No. Subject hasn't. He, she, it. Yes. Subject. He, she, it has. Has he? Has Ahmed? Has she? Has Shayma? Has Ahlam? Has Muhammad been studying English for a long time? Yes, he has. Has Muhammad been watching TV for a long time? No, he hasn't. WH questions. What have you been doing lately? I've been modeling since I graduated. Graduated. To finish your studying. Graduated. What have you been doing lately? I've been modeling. American modeling. I've been modeling since I graduated. So here we have question word has, have, subject, been, 
verb plus ing. Question word. What, like what, where, when, why, who, how. Any question word. Has or have. Has, the subject, he, she, at. Have, subject, we, you, they. Then, verb plus ing. This is the answer of the following exercise. Let's answer the questions. 1. What you do lately? You has or have have. What have? What have you? Been? What have you been? Doing. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately? Well, I've been spending my free time at the beach. I've been spending. I've been, verb plus energy, I've been spending my free time at the beach. Two. You, question mark, have. The answer I have yes here or no. So I start with the auxiliary, has or have. Here I have you, so use have. Have you? Have you been? Have you been working? Have you been working part-time this year? Yes, I have. I've been making sandwiches at the lunchtime cafe for the past few months. Yes, I have. I've been making sandwiches at the, la at the lunchtime cafe for the past few months, three. A. How? You. How have? How have you? Been. How have you been feeling recently? How have you been feeling recently? Great. I've been getting a lot of sleep. I've been getting a lot of sleep. Getting. British. Getting. American getting, double T-I-N-G. I've been getting a lot of sleep. And I haven't. And I haven't been drinking as much coffee since I stopped working at the coffee shop. And I haven't been drinking as much coffee since I stopped working at the coffee shop. Four. You? And the answer, no. Have you? Have you been getting enough exercise lately? No, I haven't. What sound between O and I? No, I. No, I haven't. I've been studying a lot for a big exam. I've been studying a lot for a big exam. B. Per work. Read the conversations in part A together, you and your friend. Then read them again and answer the questions with your own information. This is A and B. You start to make a conversation between you and your friend. Example, A and B, Ahmed and Muhammad. What have you been doing lately? I've been listening to a lot of classical music. It helps me study. Exercise number 9. Pronunciation. Contrastive stress and responses. Contrastive contrast. Opposite. Opposite in the stress. What stress? Stress to make the sound longer, louder, and higher. Higher, louder, longer. This is stress. Contrast. Opposite. Page 82, exercise 9, pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Part A, listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Has your brother been studying German? No, I've been studying German. Have you been teaching French? 
No, I've been studying French. Page 82, exercise 9, pronunciation. Contrastive stress in responses. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. Has your brother been studying German? No, I've been studying German. Have you been teaching French? No, I've been studying French. How the stress changes to emphasize a contrast. The stress changes to emphasize a contrast, a contrast opposite. Has your brother been studying German? No, I've been studying German. That means not my brother, I. I've been studying German. So here, opposite, not my brother, but I. Have you been teaching French? Teaching, you are working as teacher. As teacher for French? No, I've been studying French. Not a teacher, but a student. So, not teaching, but studying. So here, we make stress on studying. Why? Because this is opposite. This is opposite for teaching. And I correct the information. He says, A says, have you been teaching French? No, I've been studying. Studying, not teaching. Has your brother been studying German? No, I, I've been studying German, not my brother. So here, we stress in the answer on the opposite. Not my brother, but I. Not teaching, but studying. Stress to make the sound higher. B, mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check, then practice the conversations. A and B. Where is the stress? The stress in the reply, in reply, in the answer, in B. A. Have you been studying for 10 years? Have you been studying for 10 years? No. I've been studying for 2 years. 2 years, not 10. The stress on 2. For 2. Two, two years. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Not at school, but at home. Listen. Page 82, exercise 9, part B. Mark the stress changes in these conversations. Listen and check. Then practice the conversations. Have you been studying for 10 years? No, I've been studying for two years. Have you been studying at school? No, I've been studying at home. Speaking. Tell me about it. Group work. Add three questions to this list. Then take turns asking and answering the questions. Remember to ask for further information. Here, we have question and then you try to make your friend answer as group work between you and your friends. Have you been? Verb of ing. Have you been taking any lessons lately? Have you been taking any lessons lately? Have you been working out lately? What mean work out? Do exercises. Work out, do exercises. To go to the gym. Have you been working out lately? Have you been learning a new hobby? What's a hobby? Reading, reading, playing the guitar, playing music, playing tennis. Have you been working long hours lately? Have you been reading any good box lately? Have you been playing any cool video games lately? Have you been traveling? Have you been staying up late? So here, you ask your friends this, and then your friend will answer. In the answer, you can use useful expressions like, really? I didn't know that. Oh, I see. I had no idea. Wow, tell me more.
Let's have an example A and B and C. Ahmed, Ibrahim, Kamel, A. Have you been taking any lesson lately? Have you been taking any lessons lately? Yes, I have. I've been taking driving lessons. Really? How is it going? B. Great. I think I'm becoming an excellent driver. Here, look at the picture here. He's driving. He had the whisk basket. His teacher, the person who's teaching him driving is scared, frightened. He made different actions, accidents. He was about to, to make an accident and hit somebody. So he said, great, I think I'm becoming an excellent driver. So this is, of course, driving lessons. Another example. Have you been? Have you been working out? Have you been working out? Have you been working out lately? Yes, I have. I've been going to the gym. Really? I had no idea. Tell me more. Well, I've been, I've been going to the gym three times a week. I do aerobics. Exercise number 12. Reading from the streets to the screen. From the streets to the screen. Skim the article. What makes Steph Bendabulele different from other groups of musicians? From the streets to the screen, the screen television, to be shown on TV. Now let's get started. What do you see here in this picture? A group of musicians, a band, and they are, they are disabled. The members of the band are disabled. They're using to recycle. They're using to recycles. Homemade to recycles. This is a recycle. A recycle. A disabled person uses a tricycle to move. This is the first picture. Stav Benda, Benda Bilali, is a group of musicians, a group of musicians from Kinshasa. Where's Kinshasa? Democratic Republic of Congo, DRC. DRC, this is Democratic Republic, Republic of Congo. Democratic Republic, Republic of Congo, this is a place, a country. They live on the streets of the city. The four original group members are all disabled. So, in this band, there are four members, four group members. All of them are disabled and move around on homemade tricycles. They are moving on tricycles. These tricycles are homemade. Homemade tricycles means they didn't buy these tricycles from shops. The group was founded by guitar players Papa Ricky Likubu and Kuka and Kuku 
Kukuna. So this group was founded. Take care. We have the verb find, found, found. This is verb to find something. But this is the verb found. And the past founded. The past participle founded. Found, founded, founded. The group was founded. The group was made, was formed. The group was started by guitar players Papa Ricky and Cuckoo. Other musicians refused to play with them. Why? Why other musicians refused? They didn't like to play with them because they couldn't dance. They can't dance. Later, after some time, a street kid, kid, a child, Roger, Roger Landu, joined them. He made his own musical instrument. A musical instrument such as a piano, a guitar, the violin. So he made his own musical instrument from a fish can a piece of wood and one guitar string, nothing more. So, this child, Roger, made his own musical instrument from a fish can, a piece of wood and one guitar string. Nothing more. Maybe because they don't have money, they can't afford, they can't buy musical instruments they can't buy they can't buy guitar piano violin and all of these musical instruments so look at the picture here this is Roger and this is his musical instrument Now let's answer some questions. So, where are they from? They are from Kinshasa in Democratic Republic of Congo. Where do they live? They live on the streets, on the streets of the city. How many members are in this group? There are only four members. What are they like? Describe them. They are all disabled and move around on homemade recycles. Who found who who founded the group? The guitar players Papa Ricky and Cuckoo. Why did other musicians refuse? To play with them cause because cause cause they couldn't dance who joined them a street kid kid means a child a street kid Roger Landu joined them paragraph number two the group's music is classic classic Congolese Classic Congolese rumba. Rumba mix it with reggae and rhythm and blues. Rhythm and blues. So all of these are kinds of music. The group's music is classic Cong Congolese rumba. It's composed of. It contains rumba. Mix you. You mix this kind of music, the rumba, with reggae, rhythm, and blues. The lyrics. What mean lyrics? Songs. The words of, of their songs. Their lyrics contain a message to street people and disabled people. What is the message? 
Be very strong. Try to be strong, not weak. Papa Ricky believes that the only real handicaps. What mean handicaps? Things that stop you. Papa Ricky believes that the only real handicaps are in the are in the mind. Papa Ricky believes that the only real handicaps are in the mind. Are in the mind, not the body. Body, American, British body. He says the group's main musical influences come from the street. These musical influences come from the street. We sleep there. We sleep in the street. Eat there. We eat in the street. Rehearse there. What mean rehearse? Train. They make training in the streets for their songs to to show them in front of the people later. They also play there every evening. The group performs in front of an audience near Kinshasa Zoo. What does the group music? What does the group music play? They play classic rumba, mixed with reggae and rhythm and blues. Do their lyrics, do their songs have a message? Yes, they have different messages. Be very strong. Don't be weak. The only real handicaps are in the mind, not the body. Paragraph three. In two thousand four, two French filmmakers were working in the DRC. They were working in the Democratic Republic of Congo. When, by chance, unexpectedly. They heard staff bend a bell's music. They heard the music. They loved it so much that they spent the next five years making a documentary film about the group. The, what does mean a documentary film? A film about facts. Facts about this group. About this group. In two thousand nine, Stav Brenda, Stav Brenda first CD was released. The first CD for this band was shown. Was recorded. It's called Très Très Fort. This is French. Très Très Fort. Très Très Fort. Which means very, very strong. The group, the group won the Womex. What means the Womex? World Music Expo. World Mu World Music Expo. Artist Award. Then, in two thousand ten, the documentary Benda Belili was screened as the At the Cannes Film Festival, and the group played on the opening night. That's amazing, of course. That in 2010, this group, they show their movie, their documentary movie, at the Cannes Film Festival. And this group played on the opening night. The celebration, the festival, the opening, the first day of opening the festival.
Let's ask some questions. Who make a documentary film about this group of band? Two French filmmakers? has made a documentary film about this group. What happened in 2009? Staff Brenda, Staff Brenda Belilly, Belilly's first CD was released. What was the title of the CD, of the first CD? Très très fort. In English, very very strong. Did the group, did the group win any awards? Yes, they did. The members of the group won the WOMEX, the World Music Expo Artist Award. What happened in 2010? In 2010, the documentary Ben de Belilly was screened at the Cannes Film Festival and the group played on the opening night. Staff Brand Lilly wants to use this worldwide success to raise awareness about the problems of street people in Kinshasa and around the world. Staff Brand Lilly wants to use, want to use, want to use its worldwide success, success all over the world, in every part of the world, to raise, to increase, Awareness, to raise awareness, to tell the people the message, to increase people's awareness about the problems of street people, street people, homeless people, people who are living in the street because they don't have homes in Kinshasa and around the world and every part in the world. A. Read the article. Find the words in italics below in the article, then match each word with its meaning. In this exercise, you will match 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, or 5, 6 with ABC and F. You match the word, its meaning. 1. Disabled. Disabled, E. Unable to walk or move easily. 1, E. 2. Lyrics. Lyrics. D. Words of a song. 3. Handicaps. 3. C. Things that make it hard to do what you want. Things that make it hard to do what you want. Rehearse. 4. Rehearse. F. Practice before performing in front of an audience. Rehearse. Practice before performing. 5. By chance. By chance, A. Unexpectedly. 6. Raise awareness. Raise awareness, B. Make people think. Make people think. Raise awareness, make people think. B. Answer these questions, then compare with a partner. In this exercise, you are going to answer these questions from the passage. 1. Where do the members of Staff Benda live? They live on the streets of Kinshasa. They live on the streets, on the streets of Kinshasa. 2. Why do they use recycles? 2. They use recycles because they are disabled. Because they are disabled. What kind of music do they play? They play different kinds of music. They play classic rumba, mix it with reggae and rhythm and blues. Four. How did they become famous?
5. What message do they want to tell the world? They want to tell the world the problems of street people in Kinshasa. The problem of street people all over the world. C. Peer work. Discuss people you know who had a lot of problems and then become very successful. In this exercise, you make a discussion with your friends about successful people. That's the end of unit number 12, part 2. Homework 1. Keep the words by heart. 2. Listen and repeat. 3. Answer 3 pages of the workbook unit number 12. 4. Go to www.cambridge.org slash interchange your kid. You will have more exercises as games and fun. 5. Watch the video of Interchange Unit 12 Interchange 2 Unit 12 Fourth Edition for Cambridge University. Wish you all good luck. Finally, please like it, share it, and subscribe. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa nasa'alukum ad-du'a. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser-focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments, and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. ممكن نجيب كتاب Interchange في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم. الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاق الدقي مجرد تخرج من مترو أنفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انترتشينج السلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعت الانترتشينج 